Hey, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Deadpunk69 bringing you another Destiny's Tips and Tricks video. Today what I'm going to be bringing you is a couple of spin metal runs on Cosmodrone. So we're going to start this off and we are going to go to Patrol. Now there are three different areas where you're going to actually be mining or farming uh, all these spin metals. Uh, there's I'm going to start with... Um, the least productive which is okay um, and I'm gonna go to the most productive the last one I show will be the most productive out of all the spin metal runs now the three areas we're gonna focus on are the moth yards um, the rocket uh, rocket yard and the divide the moth yards the easiest way to find that is um, is the plane the plane yard um, as soon as you spawn in, what you're going to do is you just pull your sparrow and you're just going to take... Well, oh, let's go hunting. So we're just going to speed this along. Alright, cool. So this is where you're going to start your spin metal run for the first spin metal run. Alright, so to get here, you've seen how I get here. If you haven't found it yet, down there there's actually a ghost. A dead ghost. Go ahead and go down there and activate it. So the spin metal run goes like this. You just want to kind of glance over there. Uh, maybe once or twice I've had an actual crate go out over there. You go up here. Make sure there's not one on the roof. There's not. Can't control my character today. You're going to check in here. You're going to run around there. You're going to look right under there. You're going to come in here. You can check the room, check behind the desk, nothing there. Okay, you're going to come over here. You also want to check right beside this truck. Because sometimes I've had a couple spawn there. You want to check underneath this plane wing. And you want to run over. Check right here. You want to jet pack up and look straight down. Because sometimes they will spawn right down that little stone. Right, and you're going to run over here. You're going to check around. Now one thing... Um, I want to give a piece of advice. Do not do these runs for engrams. Bungie has updated the loot chests to where they don't actually drop as many items as they used to. However, you still will occasionally get stuff. You want to check right there. And the area you want to check it is up here in this little corner. One more piece of piece. Oh, and look, there's one right there. So we're gonna go ahead and check back up here. Okay. And then we got the spin metal. Um, don't do these runs for loot, just for the sheer fact that there's better things you can do for loot, i.e., strike missions. If you do Vanguard Tiger Strike, you get a minimum of one rare engram every freaking game. It happens. It's going to happen. Occasionally, once in a blue moon. I'll say you get ninety you get a ninety-five percent chance that you're going to get it in there. Alright, so you're gonna stick right along this edge, like this. Um the reason I say don't do this uh for engrams is because like I know a lot of people that do this and they're like, oh yeah, I'm out for spin metal, but I'm only gonna pick up the chest. Don't do that. For these to actually benefit you any, you have to pick up everything. Everything. Even just the spin metal. When you see it growing out of the ground. Alright, so another area you want to look is down this entire ditch. I've had chests spawn in the most ridiculous places. And when I say ridiculous places, I've actually had one spawn right there where I fell off the map almost trying to get it. Alright, so one will spawn somewhere in there, somewhere in there. I've had one spawn up here, I've had one spawn up here. I've had some that spawn all across this ridge. So, spin metal typically spawns right here. So then you're gonna go. It looks like uh, right now this is a shitty run, but this is, like I said, this is one of the less productive runs. This one's nice because I've gotten a lot of ships from this area, and you want to run out to this plane. You just want to listen. You can also check if you if your volume on your TV sucks or you don't have a mic, a chest will spawn right back here. And if you know what I say by listening, um, you can actually hear the uh, chests if you listen carefully enough. 
you have a headset, you don't even have to listen carefully. You can put a headset right in your PS4 controller, and you can hear it plain as day. So I'm gonna come over here and check there. Now one area I always forget is right up here. As you see, there's a chest right up here. Another area that they spawn is against this cannon. So we're gonna come up here. Oh, I almost barely made it. I'm a warlock. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I missed my titan. All right, so I'm gonna jump down and uh, shoot. What? Wait, what, two? What the hell did they start making? Two? Okay, cool. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna jump to the plane. We're gonna come around and shoot the shank. Alright, cool. So, now we're here. You're gonna run around the engine. You're gonna check under the plane wing. Make sure not in there. You're gonna check under right here. One will spawn sometimes. Oh, there's one right here. Nice. Oh god, don't die. Alright, then we're gonna come up here. You're gonna check right under this rock. Jet pack up. Make sure there's not one behind that rock. And then come back down. Check down there. Check down here. Here's the spin metal. Now the reason I say pick these up because if you're spin metal doing spin metal runs, see, I just got two right there. That's two for the little crap growing out the ground. And I know people swear up and down that you only get one from those, but no, you get you can get multiples. Um now the reason I'm showing these spin metal runs is there's multiple things that you can use spin metal for. Uh, a couple of things are upgrading your weapons. Other things are if you mine enough of it, you can actually sell it to the Vanguard and or you can sell it to the Crucible Quartermaster. And you can get Van Boy, Vanguard and Crucible marks for it. Which is great because I freaking hate Crucible. It is freaking retarded. You only get... Alright, the average uh, freaking crucible mission lasts anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. Like, it, it lasts a hot minute. And if you lose, you only get two Vanguard marks. If you win, it gives you three. So let's think about this. Right? If each match you play lasts 20 minutes, that is a possibility of getting... At most, you can get nine, uh, sorry, I had a brain fart, couldn't math for a second there. Um, you get a maximum of nine marks, crucible marks, in a matter of an hour. So, let's think about this. 50 spin metal, and I guarantee any one of these runs are going to give you at least 50 spin metal in an hour. You get five crucible marks for turning it in. So that's two crucible marks faster. This run right here in an hour will give you about 50 spin metal, and that's if you pick up everything. If you literally pick up everything, every piece of spin metal that you see, you pick it up. It will give you about 50 spin metal an hour. Alright, so after showing you this one, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to our next area.
Okay, so the next area we are in is the Rocket Yard. This is the area where you spawn uh, if you play the Devil Lair Strike Mission. Um, I don't suggest going into the actual De Devil's Lair Strike Mission because that's just that's just screwing people. Um, they'll have to fight the mission with two people if they're trying to play the easiest mission in the game without dying. Uh, even though it's the easiest mission, you get swarmed. You get swarmed bad. I don't care if they're low levels or not. You still get swarmed, and enough freaking shots from three witches at one time. Yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna get laid into. It's it's hard to beat it with two people, even though they're lower levels. It's just that they they swarm very heavily. So, so you're gonna want to start off right here where you spawn. And you're gonna want to first of all you want to check around you because sometimes the spin metal will start right where you're starting. You want to run right over here. You jet back up. Check in the tube. Check above the tube. Check over here. Those are three areas where the crates can spawn. And will spawn. So you're gonna come down here, you're gonna check this little area, sometimes spin metal will spawn right there. And then you come over here, you're gonna check inside this room right here. You're gonna come up and look, there's one right here. Sweet. Already productive. Already a little bit spin metal ahead. And we're gonna run over to this room. Alright, now with this run. I have averaged anywhere from 65 to about 80, even 90 spin metal, I want to say, within an hour. Um, it's an okay run. Uh, like I said, I'm doing these in order. This is not the best run, but it is a decent run. It's just literally a giant circle. Um, one of the other great things about it there are good chests like they're, they're pretty easily remembered so when you get that loot run composure I'm gonna check right here um, another reason I don't suggest getting into this um, if you're in a devil layer strike mission if you do get to the mission and freaking you have a team that actually can hold their own amongst the two players play. Um, it really sucks because, like, if you're doing your loot run and you get your loot run to exactly where you want to have it, where chests are spawning like crazy, and the next thing you know they defeat Sepix Prime, guess what? You're done. You're done. You're, you're getting out of there. And that just, that just sucks. Especially when you get right into the, the, uh, the loot run. And it's just getting good. Now what I like to do is I like to run over here because sometimes a chest will spawn right here. If you've seen other people's videos, there used to be an infinite chest right there where it was always there as long as you got a good distance from the chest. However, Bungie has actually fixed that glitch. Now it just spawns normally just like any other chest. You're going to check around. This is a good area for spin metal. Um, your first one or two passes are going to be kind of crappy. I'm going to check up there. Other places you want to check are right up here. There's a little ledge. I'm going to check on this side of the tube. I'm going to check on this side of the tube. And you also don't want to forget to run back here. Checking behind everything. Alright. Um... But yeah, this this spin uh, spin metal run is okay. It's decent. I've I have a lot better ones that I like to do. Shit. Alright. Um, 
This chest, a lot of people always forget to check. Um, another thing, as you see, I'm getting a lot of uncommon gear. So the good thing about this is if you're low on glimmer, hey, guess what? <laughs> you're not going to be for long. Um, like I said, you want to check up here. Uh, Bungie has patched this, so like a lot of rare gear doesn't drop anymore. You'll get ships and stuff still pretty much the same. That was weird. I could have sworn I just seen a dead ghost up there, like the glow of the dead ghost. But you just continue the same run I just showed you. Um, sometimes I'll kill this. Sep uh, I'll kill that, these guys right here just because I've had drops come from these guys pretty recently. Plus, it kind of sucks to get shot at a thousand times when you're trying to collect spin metal and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, alright, so that's it for that run. Like I said, I've gotten anywhere from 69 to 80 an hour. Now I'm going to take you to the last and best run, in my opinion, on Cosmic Drone. Okay, so this is the last and best uh, spin metal run, in my opinion, on Cosmic Run by far. And there's multiple reasons why. We are at the Divide. This is the area uh, right after the building, right before you get to the area for Suffix Prime. Now, you want to start right here. You never want to go past this truck. Reason being is because if you get past this truck, it will restart everything. I don't know why, don't ask me why, it's still considered part of the level, but for some reason I've been on good runs and I went in there to check and the freaking uh, boxes just started disappearing. I had them going good and then they just disappeared. Alright, so why I think this is the best run in the game, or in Kazu game. Alright, first of all, there's a lot of freaking characters, so it's going to keep you engaged, it's going to keep you busy, you're not going to get composed, you're not going to get bored, it's not, I mean, you're going to have, you're going to have stuff to do. Okay, so... Always equip a weapon that you want to level up, something that you need kills for, stuff like that. Now, keep in mind, doing bounties is still the fastest way to actually rank up your weapons. Okay, cool, whatever. But it's still easy to get kills in this map. Um, they're freaking, the highest level you'll see is a level 5, so take them out. Um, another reason why um, I think this is the best run is because it's a big area, lots of chests, right there, there's gonna probably be one eventually. Um, there's lots of chests, I've gotten good items, I've gotten good amount of spin metal. To tell you the truth, um, the best spin metal run I've had here, you'll average 100 spin metal here every hour. It's, it's guaranteed. If you pick up literally everything, you can possibly find. However, if you get one of those blue moon days, you can average 200 spin metal in literally an hour to an hour and a half. You'll you'll average like they'll just start throwing it at you like it's Halloween candy. It gets ridiculous. There will be spin metal everywhere. It'll just keep coming, keep spawning. Uh, crates used to spawn up here, but for some reason now they've blocked that area off. I'm not too sure why but yeah um keep it oh there is a crate here i was gonna say keep an eye out for this area right here because uh crates will spawn there but there's actually one already right here you want to keep looking in there you want to look back behind that door over there you want to come over here all right now what i would suggest is you see that spin metal right there okay we'll get that in a minute we're gonna come in here first i'm gonna check this area bam right there chest all right, then we'll run out. Now, other reasons why I think this is the best area. If you get the bounty, complete three public events with gold tier. This is one of the easiest areas to get a freaking public event to spawn. You will be fighting the uh, spider tank. Uh, it is super easy to kill, especially when there's people around to help you 
Uh, it is nowhere near as hard to kill as freaking the one in Shepard's Prime. Um, and the good thing about it is, well, even if you've completed your public event, for some reason, that one actually has the chance, let me check all up in here, um, that one has a chance to drop upgradable items, uh, Ascendant Energy and Ascendant Shards, and it does not count towards your... First time I've ever had that happen. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Gotta love the ice break. Um, but anyways, the Ascendant Shard and Ascendant Energy does not count towards your public event. Um, stuff that comes in the mail when you complete uh, your public event once a day. Um, I've had different views on the public events. I've heard some people say you only get... Uh, upgradable material once. I've heard some people say you can get it once per planet. Uh, I haven't really tried because like I've never sat there and actually done um, the public events on every planet once a day. So um, this one's a little tricky to get. You just want to jetpack up and as soon as you get close enough you want to start pressing the hold and split. And you'll never get up there. It'll never happen. You may, maybe with a Titan, I think, maybe I came close if I were to try a little bit harder. So, you want to check between the trucks. Alright, so you want to check between the trucks, you want to get this stuff. Sometimes there will be crates in front of the trucks. You can get those. Um, definitely keep your ears open, because some of the chests here get a little ridiculous. Like, they hide them so well, but you'll find them. You'll eventually find them. So you want to check down here, there's one there, another place is right here, um, I keep dropping these vandals. Uh, you want to check back here, now another place that I said you want to use your ears for is this one right here, this one gets a little tricky to find, they will spawn one right there, and you will be pulling your hair out trying to figure out where this thing is, another place they spawn is right here, uh, yeah, another place you spawn is right there. Um, another reason I really like this is this is a good one because there's lots of people around to kill. So guess what? That's opportunities for engram drops. So if you sit there and you play long enough, you'll get engram drops. And the more you do this run, the more chests and spin metal are going to spawn. Um, just uh, keep in mind uh, to help kill some uh, people because you're gonna see guys like this poor little guy up here. Uh, it might be a second account, but still help him out. Help him out. Help him kill some of these assholes that are equal level to him that are going to own him, and you're going to be a higher level. So therefore, you're going to own the characters. Trying to find an open chest. One one thing that gets really hard about this area is there's so many drop ships that come in that like you it gets hard to hear anything you always want to take those guys out all the time all the time because if you constantly keep those guys taken out it'll make the tank a lot easier and it'll make the tank a lot faster to destroy um, another good thing about the uh, spider tank is it's also a clock for you um, the first time it spawns, every 30 minutes it spawns, uh, that public event here. It is a commonly dropped event. Uh, I guess they think it's a hard event. Um, not really, in my opinion, is it hard. However, it can get a little annoying uh, sometimes. You gotta constantly stay on your toes. Uh, even though he's weaker, I think he's a little more intelligent when it comes to uh, firing upon people. 
just for the sheer fact that um, playing Suffix Prime, I've had times where I've just jumped over the rocket, but freaking this guy in public event just like, just constantly nails me with splash damage. Uh, getting rounds to land really close to my feet, uh, just really stupid stuff. Plus, um, characters spawn in a lot more uh, ferocity than in Sepix Prime. They were they respawn in decent in Sepix Prime, but here, like you'll have like ten freaking shanks come out, and you'll have a bunch of retarded stuff come out, and it gets really nice Um But other than that. Um, yeah, the, this, this vanilla, if you get a good, seriously, why? Um, if you get a good spin metal run on this one, I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to flip your wig. Um, you will get roughly around 200 spin metal in about an hour to an hour and a half. Alright, so like I said, think about it, 200, that's 20 points in an hour and a half. That's like triple what you could get, pretty close to triple what you can get with playing Crucible. And plus, like, I know some people like Crucible and some people play the crap out of Crucible. Okay, cool, great, grand. That's, that's, that's your bag, of, that's your cup of tea, that's not my cup of tea. I get ripped off in Crucible so much, I'm tired of people walking around with uncommon fusion rifles that they just purchased from god knows who or found out of god knows what crate and freaking I'm getting owned. Other things that really piss me off. Freaking I'm getting owned by uncommon auto rifles and I'm using a legendary. That should not happen. If anything I should be doing slightly more damage to a person with a legendary weapon because it is hard to actually acquire. I didn't get it out of some uh, drag farting in a microphone and magically he decided to keep it out. Okay, I had to work for my legendary weapon. But that's a whole nother video in itself. Me talking crap about Crucible. But like I said, this is the fastest way to actually max out your Crucible for the week. You can get 100 Crucible points in a week. You can get 100 Crucible points in a week. You can get 100 Vanguard in a week. Alright, for maxing out, oh, also, while you're sitting here doing this spin metal run, as you're playing the public events, every time you play a public event, uh, I think you get, the first time you play it, I think you get six vanguard marks, and then every time you defeat the tank afterwards, I think you get about three, you possibly still get six, but I'm thinking you only get three after the first time. Um, so not only... Are you maxing out your crucible as fast as you can? You're also trying to max out your Vanguard. Which just helps. Now, the other ways to play Vanguard to get Vanguard marks are playing the strike missions. If you're going to play a strike mission and you're high enough level, I suggest playing Vanguard Tiger. Reason being is because I've had the most engrams come out of there and I've had the best stuff come out of there. I've had really good items come from uh, Tiger Strike. Um, one of the things I suggest, uh, I said it in one of my previous videos, make multiple characters and the reason being is because it just helps you get uh, ascendant energy and ascendant uh, shards, stuff like that. With each character, if you get them high enough ranked, you can take them into vertical glass, you can get a shit ton of ascendant shards and strange coins and stuff like that. Play the weekly event every week with every character. Um, if you make three characters that can actually hold their own in the weekly challenge, you can get minimum of 27 strange coins per week. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. You do, you do it on the hardest difficulty, which gets you nine strange coins, and freaking, you just put them in the vault. Just put all your strange coins in the vault and get it done. So, I'm going to go ahead and... In this video here, if you know of any more uh, spin metal runs in areas uh, on Cosmodrome, uh, just leave me in the comments below and I will make sure that those comments are bumped up so people can see them. I'll like them a couple times. 
And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Dub Punk out.